Now that the locomotive is the right way up, there is one slight concern, and that is the locomotive chassis rolling off the trolley onto the floor. So I think the next thing we work on is the brakes. Yes. You've just seen me put in these two rods and this rod here with the bearings. The brake handle that goes over here, the base of it is this disc, which will sit somewhere there, with some linkages that goes down to operate this, which then has a lever in the middle, sending some rodding going forwards. And then from these, we have some brake hangers that come down from there, which connects to the linkages at the bottom, which have the brake blocks, which hang off the hanger. Now to stop the brake hangers moving around on this rod, uh, I got these, can be clamped into place to keep the brake hanger from moving too far. The brake hanger is just a piece of flat bar, so I'm gonna make a boss that goes between here, which is a loose fit, because it doesn't need to be bushed, it doesn't need to be tight, because it needs to be out of play, it needs to swing a little as well. So we'll just make some bosses that go between there, that we can weld the flat bar on for the brake hanger. If you're enjoying what you've seen on the channel and you haven't already then please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video and don't forget to uh, hit the like button and that will help it share to like-minded people with exceedingly good taste just like yourselves Close enough.
these are going to get welded onto the flat bar that goes down for the brake hanger and uh, I've just put a little hole in the top just so that every now and again we can squirt a little bit of oil in quite a good fit there's still a bit there's a nice bit of play in it so we get a hole in we can squirt a bit of oil in so when it's moving it doesn't sort of rust it doesn't need any type of bearing for the job it's doing which is basically a handbrake Four pieces of 30mm by 6mm flat bar. These will be the drop hanger. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I need to machine out the end so we can weld the boss on there. And then part way down we need a hole for the brake block to go in there. And then it needs a hole down here. Close enough. Then what we'll do is we'll get it right close to the end. Yeah, somewhere there. So what we'll do is we'll cut the majority of it out with the grinder. The grinder, every model engineer's favourite tool. nicely so looking at this set of drawings which are really small and um, hopefully it's coming out uh, this is the bit we're making here this little tiny bit here that's where we're putting the bosses at the top and then we just got to put these two holes in which on this drawing they're three eighths so nine mil so it's ten mil hole we'll put ten mil in so we're gonna do metric just to scare you all and um, we've got the two distances there, which we can do those with the DRO.
I've rounded them all off with the precision engineering tool, the uh, angle grinder. Where, you, where they're going to be at the bottom of the low coil, you're not going to see them. And we've got the bosses done, which is a go here, like so. And I've also drilled the holes for the brake blocks. There you go. Into that second hole there. I'm going to have to get some bolts that don't have threads all the way. And there's just enough clearance for them to rock as they should. So when you take the brakes off, there's a bit of play because obviously the wheels are going to move up and down with the weight of the boiler, the, the fuel, water, all that sort of stuff, bodies, suspension of the movement. So the things will move up and down. So these need a little bit of play. Uh, so yeah, they've turned out really well. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.